Even though you are very balanced, it's normal to have bad days. Even in summer, when everything is great, you can be sad if you want to. Remember, feelings are just visitors. They come and go like the waves of the sea. I still think, even though I sometimes wish for 365 days of sun, some gray days are necessary to appreciate the sunny ones. Humans simply cannot be happy all the time. I think it's not possible. It wouldn't be healthy because how would you know it's sunny when you have never seen a gray sky? Without winter we wouldn't appreciate this summer and it's good to know the other side of the golden medal. Sometimes you appreciate a good and sunny period in life more when you have survived the dark period and worked yourself up again to the light. You won't take it for granted if you worked for it and if it wasn't just given to you. Remember when you first brought bought a blue top uh, that you wanted for months to wear to that party with your own money that you earned through waitressing in a restaurant down the street? It felt really good, right? You probably took great care of the top and still have it. Do you remember the first party top for your best friend's birthday your mom bought you? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You definitely will tell you to and appreciate the one you bought with your own money more because you work for it. It's simple. Something given to you is more easy to forget and to be taken for granted than something that worked for you. And you worked for it. You also do all the shadow work. You journal, work out, read those books, you do the work to feel good. Internally and because you do something you will appreciate your sunny state of mind even more. The sunniest place to get tanned is a place where you will see a lot of women and men showing their bodies. Women are always thinking of what our appearance is signaling, especially to other women, said Emily Radjakovsky in Harper's Bazaar. Instagram made it easy to compare faces and bodies, so comparison might also be on your mind while you are thinking about how to get in shape for the summer. What we forget is that we might not even compare ourselves to somebody's experience but to their energy and their confidence in their bodies. I recall a story about body comparison from last summer. My mom and I were spending an afternoon at the beach where I watched a group of three girls and two boys coming to the beach. They were laying six meters away from us. The girls were conventionally attractive and most people would say they were pretty. I decided to go for a little swim. When I walked into the water, one of the boys was saying something to me. I sort of ignored it because I was on a mission to enjoy my swim and just didn't care. I had a feeling that what he said was something about my body. After my three lanes of swimming, I walked out of the water and I heard the girls talking about me. I'm not sure about the exact words, but I think it was a comment about my little bikini and my body shape. I didn't want to give them too much attention, but I know it made me really angry hearing them gossiping because my body is simply none of their business. So they themselves had nice bodies that fit most beauty standards as sad, so I didn't understand why they would care about mine. I was so mad, but my mom calmed me down because she told me that it's not my body that they envy, it's my confidence in it. Looking back, I'm proud to say I was confident in my body and felt at ease with it because I can be pretty hard on myself as well. I realized that I glow differently when I like my body. The same goes for everybody. We are all beautiful in our own way. Everyone has their own insecurities and struggles to be someone they're not. My advice here is to be more kind to yourself, so here is my little message to myself. Dear body, please forgive me, even if I don't deserve forgiveness. I hurt you with my rough thoughts about you because I couldn't accept you as you are. I admit I felt more hate than love with the constant question as to why the universe decided to give me 
to you and I know it's not fair to ask you to forgive after all the bad thoughts, misinterpretations and judgments about you, but please be nicer than me. You're the son of my universe and hold my existence in this human experience. You're not defined by your your experience, but everything you offer my soul as protection. Just like flowers without the sun, I would be nothing without you. Your arms hold beloved ones tight and offer a warm hug on cold days your legs move me and help me stand firm you offer me a home no matter where i go you lo let love be felt and make it happen now i'm working on loving you accepting you as you are i hope you will forgive me even if it's not today or tomorrow